what is going on beautiful folks welcome to another episode of self-aware narcissist sundays the series will ah lee had the self-aware diagnosed narcissist tell talks about my therapy journey what works for me how i got into therapy and things of, the, of that nature all that is in the same playlist all of it y'all all of us in the same playlist come on a video just like lee how'd you start therapy? it's in this playlist just scroll there's a bunch of videos here um but like I said, this series has started because like, there's a lot of people out there who reach out to me, like a lot of other narcissists or people who think they're narcissists who want to just kind of know who want, want to kind of pick my brain and whatnot as well. Um, so, yeah, this series is dedicated towards that right there, y'all. Um, and what worked for me in therapy. So my very last therapy appointment last Monday, y'all, it was a very impactful therapy journey where I, was, I got to kind of in detail with my therapist about things that were bothering me in the world like but dealing with some old old betrayals y'all old betrayals like in my life and like how i still am holding on to grudges for so long that it's like really these old grudges are affecting my life and you know what inspired me to talk about that in therapy like i saw a meme on i saw a meme uh on instagram it was like uh crow crows uh it's, it, it was about crows. It's like crows hold grudges against people for 17 up to 17 years. I was like, that's my spirit animal right there because I hold grudges for a very, very long time. And when I said it, I was coming from a place of it, like literally of being like proud of holding grudges. And I was like, I'm like, man, that's childish as hell to hold grudges against people that like so for for such a long time. Like and y'all know, I've discussed this before on my channel. They're like, I hate when people have power over me, right? And as long as I'm holding on to a grudge, that person has power over me. As long as I'm holding on to something like that, because they post, but if you're holding a grudge, if you're holding a grudge or some vengeance, and this is the narcissist out there, right? That person over the person you're holding a grudge against is in control of you. Because if they can trigger you, they can control you, right? Every time you think about this person, every time somebody else brings this person up. If you have an emotional reaction or it affects you in any way like that, you go, oh, they, that person has control of you. And I know that frustrates people because like that really right there, holding this grudge could be like hindering your healing, hindering your growth, because it, it, it really doesn't even matter who this grudge is against. Can, this grudge can be against your family members, your friends, whoever it can be against, like an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife old school teacher like one of my grudges that i held for a very long time y'all i had this grudge for I, I really literally just recently let this grudge go um i think it was last year 2023 i had a grudge against a girl from like third grade third or fourth grade i can't remember you know i'm thinking it was third grade um this girl called me ugly in third grade and hurt my feelings and i've always been hyper focused on my looks since this girl called me ugly in third grade and i was just like i'm gonna get her back one day i don't like yeah this is third grade we're like eight seven eight years old my son isn't you know he's eight years old now so i'm like i've been holding this grudge against this girl for that damn long like she called me ugly and i just in my mind i was like i'm gonna you know i'm gonna tell her uh i'm gonna show her Watch me show her. Watch me. Uh, watch me. Watch how I do this right here. Watch how I do that right there. Watch how I do this right here. Like, and never, I never saw her again from third grade and she moved schools. So, so from third grade till last year, last year I was thirty eight. So from third grade to so thirty years, literally thirty years, eight to thirty eight, I held this grudge, and it just so happens that my son had a basketball game at the YMCA, right? And I'm sitting beside this girl. I'm like, you know what? They look like the girl from third grade. They call me ugly. And guess what? It was her. I talked to her. I was just like, man, I didn't hold this grudge against this girl. She's a grown woman now with kids, nephews, nieces, and everything. And she called me ugly third grade. And I'm just like, how stupid is that grudge, man? You got to learn how to let stuff go. You have to learn how to like, ask yourself, what's the underlying issue right here that you're trying to solve by holding this grudge? Right? Ask yourself that right there. Because you have you you have to. You really, really have to ask yourself that question right there. Like, what are you trying to accomplish in this space right here the, as you're dealing with, it, with, this, with this grudge? What did this person do to you that hurt your feelings so much so, like, that you're holding on to this grudge? Because it really is, it really actually is hindering your healing. It doesn't seem like it, but it absolutely is. 
It's just like because this person has power over you. The underlying issue with that girl I had this grudge against, right, was the fact that she called me ugly and I, it made me question my it made me question my looks. It's still I'm still questioning my looks nowadays. Um, but that's not her fault, right? It's really not her fault. I'm like by letting that grudge go, I released it. You know, so I'm not even angry. I'm laughing at myself. Just fucking laugh at myself now. Like, how silly was that grudge? You know, I know that's just a, such a a trivial trivial example because that's a like a little grudge, right? That's a stupid grudge. There's people who out there's people out who, who out here who've actually hurt you, or you've hurt them and they and they you hurt them and they retaliated and they hurt you back and now you're holding a grudge against them for retaliating against you when you started it. You know, perspective. Dig deep into your mind. And ask yourself, why am I angry at this person years later? My one of my old homeboys, right, literally betrayed me. Um, le- literally, this was last year too. Like 2023 was a year of release for me, right? Literally, one of my good friends literally betrayed me by trying to sleep with people from, from my profile. Like, you know, I'm super protective of my profile. Yeah, I know I have a lot of people who follow me that are victims of victims of domestic violence, emotional abuse, physical abuse, all the other stuff, right? <clears throat> so I'm super protective of my platform. And this real life friend knew that. I was like, hey. Don't talk to anybody's any the women who follow me. Don't go in their inboxes and anything like that. Of course, he didn't listen. Of course, he he picked the one girl that I actually really knew in real life. I met her in real life a couple of times. I met her kids and everything. I know her story. Literally got into that. Literally started messaging her. Started mani- trying to manipulate her because he knew me and he knew that she knew me. So he was trying to use the fact that he knew me to get this girl to drop her guard. And he's a he's a predator. So I found that out, cut him off. I haven't talked, I went no contact with this man last February. I haven't talked to him since February of 2023. You know, that betrayal. I had had to release that. I actually talked to the, my therapist about the other day. I had to release this person, the grudge. I'm like, if I ever saw him again, I was like, hey, what up, man? Love you, care about you, wish you the best. You just can't have access to me. I don't have no, don't, no, no negative energy towards you. I don't, you know, even though you try to ruin my life because that could have came back and ruined my, ruined my whole social media stuff. Oh, Lee's friends are predator being a predator on his profile, and he's allowing it. He knew that this person was this, this, that. You know what I mean? He could have ruined my life. He really could have. Um, and that's what happened right there. It, it's just in these spaces. So you, as a person, like you, as you're healing, as you're growing, this is who you have to deal with, y'all. This is the type of stuff you had to reconcile with as a narcissist, as a you know, as a narcissist, narcissistic person, whatever. You know, if you have a personality disorder, you have per, you know, you have any type of mental health issues. Holding on to these grudges, I'm telling you, are going they they do more harm than good. They 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 hinder you more than they help you. I know it feels good sometimes. I, I yeah, I held a grudge against my well, my ex. My nar- I had a nar- y'all know I have a narcissistic ex. That's part of my story as well. My narcissistic ex, I held a grudge against this girl for so long, right? And she had power over me because I held this grudge. And it's just crazy because once I released that, you know, if I see her again, same thing. I was like, What, what up, girl? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. You know, love you. From a distance, you, I love you, but you can't have access to me. This is like, you know, you have to have, you have to cross a certain threshold to be trustworthy enough to have access to me. So she just don't fit that, you know, you got to update your resume. I tell you to people all the time, you got to update your relationship resume. So some of this stuff, I'm not saying like I said, some of this stuff is, uh, y'all, some people should not be, uh, when I say let stuff go or not, not try to hold the grudge, not try to have any negative energy towards it. It doesn't mean that you have to forgive and forget hell no that's not what i'm saying y'all all right there's like my homeboy i i just I, it, i'd be hard pressed to try to forgive that person right but what's helped me is to just not give him that energy anymore just like hey i wish you the best but my best is not my my best this yet to come this does not involve you you know we are not in alignment anymore so that's the type of stuff you have to realize as well, y'all. Just like control the controllables. You know, take a deep breath. When you when you feel, if you think about somebody that, that again, did they really, ask yourself this question. Because some people have really hurt you, right? Some people have actually betrayed you. But ask yourself this question right here. Did you betray them first? And what they what, was what they did to you, retaliation. You know what I mean? Well, Lee, they exposed me because I cheated on them. I thought, I thought we were over it. Da, 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 da. I cheated on them. They exposed it. They were not over it. You see what I'm saying? But I understand how you how you could feel betrayed in that space right there because they might have hurt, hurt, hurt your reputation, whatever it might be. I get that. But again, there's no, there's no there's no growth, there's no healing without accountability. Okay. 
So if you're as you continue to grow, as you continue to heal, as you continue to move forward, just you know, just try not to hold these grudges for so long. I'm just telling you, giving giving so much energy to these grudges can be so detrimental to your healing, so detrimental to your growth. Anyways, y'all, hope y'all like self aware Sundays. I'm gonna try to do these. I, I'm gonna try to do more. Like this, nobody watches this series. This is why people are like Lee. You should make more videos for narcissists. This is almost a whole year worth of stuff in here that nobody is watching. So if you watch this video to the end, like comment, put put the hand raise emoji up to let me know you made it this far. And I appreciate it. I do these. I can do these once a week. I do this once every two weeks. It's just you know I'm a narcissist. I have a personality disorder. It's just kind of depressing when I do this. They put this energy into it. And share this vulnerability of my therapy journey and nobody watches it but again that's narcissism that's what i have to work on that's what i have to talk to my therapist about anyway y'all yes if y'all interested i do coach i do talk to other narcissists i do talk to other people on, on the mental health scale or whatnot um coach is mentalhealness.net you can find everything there as always y'all like, like and subscribe to the channel as always y'all mental healing is out <laughs>